Hey everybody, welcome back to my channel. It's your girl Tiffany and today's video is going to be another makeup tutorial on how I got this look. Honestly, I'm looking super glam right now and honestly my face is full coverage and glam AF. But my eyes still glam, still cute, but like super simple. I have three eyeshadows on my eye. I use one eyeshadow palette. So like this eye is like super convenient for like if you want to like look like you doing the most. But I like doing the absolute most, you know, like you want to look good, but you don't want to put like 30 minutes into your eyeshadow. Like, honey, this look is for you. Like if you got somewhere to go, you got to move like fast. Like I don't got nowhere to go right now, besides upstairs to my man, my baby, and my bed. But if I did have somewhere to go, honey, I'd be prepared. I'd be ready. Like, look at me. <laughs> look at me. Look at this hair. She's cute. She's cute. She's cute, she's cute, she's cute. Okay, hold on, let me stop swinging my head because my wig is not secured, okay? It's not secured right now, it's 12 o'clock. It's not secured. But if you guys are interested in seeing how I got this look and all of the products I use and all of that, then make sure you stay tuned. Clearly, I ain't got nothing on my face. I'm looking real fresh, real cute, real young, okay? So we're gonna go ahead and start with primer, moisturizer, and foundation. So I'm gonna take my Neutrogena moisturizer that I normally take. And then I'm gonna go ahead and take this primer from Touch and Soul No Pore Bloom Primer, the Smooth and Pore Covering Top Secret for Perfect Makeup. This is the bottle, and I got this in my Boxy Charm. I'm just gonna put this like right in the center of my face. Like it smells really good and I don't know what it smells like so I can't really give you something to compare it to but honestly it's bomb and it feels so good on your skin. And then for the rest of my face I'm going to take this Fenty Beauty Primer. Then for foundation, I'm going to be taking this L'Oreal Infallible. Then for foundation, I'm going to be taking this L'Oreal Infallible 24 hour fresh wear foundation. And I do have the color 515 Copper. And I'm going to put some about one and a half pumps on the back of my hand and that is how much it is it's running and I'll use a brush for this I'll take this little Morphe brush I'm not really sure what one is supposed to be because it came in a brush set so I don't really know I haven't used this brush in so long and honestly I missed it I'm gonna go ahead and do my brows off camera with my Anastasia Brow Wiz and chocolate. And then I'm gonna right go ahead and do my brows off camera like I said I was. And I did this eye. It's super simple. And that's because I'm wearing like this pink, like little bodysuit. So I felt like I wanted to color coordinate today. So that's what we're doing. I used the Too Faced Born This Way to prime the other list. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that now this is in the shade mocha easily still one of my favorite concealers easily hands down for eyes today i'm using the dose of color snow angels palette and i'm going to be taking this shade this shade and this shade so i'm going with that like mauvey shade first on this little pro fusion blending brush and i'm just going to use that as a transition so that way like the blue isn't the first color i place down and i am working this in circular motions it's a light wash of color which is good because i'm only using it for a transition but if you're a lighter skin than me it'll probably show up like a really pretty mauve color like a not even so much a mauve like a dusty rose oh is that the name of this 
that should be the name of this like look how that blended out <laughs> perfection what am i so i'm gonna take my what is this m505 and dip into that blue shade and pop that like on pop that first i'm gonna place it on my inner and outer corner look at that payoff what and then i'm gonna start placing it into my crease and then using circular motions to blend it out Then I'm going to take that pink shade and use on my finger and then apply it to my lid. I just went ahead and added more pink on the other side because I wanted it to pop a little bit more. So I'm gonna take that same brush that I used the blue on and just go around the edges so that everything is blended seamlessly and not super harsh. Actually, I'm gonna take this brush and I'm gonna put some of the pink on there and then pat it on my eye this way and see if I like the payoff. Yeah, I like how that looks now. Okay, all right, all right, all right. We're good. So I don't think I'm gonna add a liner. Mm. No, I'm not going to add no liner. I'm going to pop some lashes on really quick. Let me get some. All right. I know y'all are sick of me with these lashes, but like they just work, especially with like the simple eye looks. So I'm using these again today. <laughs> Whatever. Bye. Okay. So we're back. I had my eyelashes on. I feel like myself feeling good, feeling great. So I'm going to take my LA Girl Orange Corrector and place that like under my eyes before I highlight just to cancel out any like discoloration and like the lack of sleep that I got going on under there. I already know. You don't gotta tell me. I know most of the time if I do color correct, I color correct before foundation. But really the only problem area to me, like I have like dark spots other places, but the only spots that like are bothersome sometimes is under my eye because i just look tired as crap which i am so it's not a lie i'm just blending this out with my finger finger i'm blending down into my foundation so that way it's not like this weird like line of demarcation between the concealer or corrector and my foundation before I put my concealer on okay so for concealer I'm gonna go ahead and take my born this way concealer and mocha again you already know this is my brighter shade I do have maple and that is a tad bit darker than this yeah it's a little bit darker than this and i don't know, i like that color but this color is like in your face yeah i know my type of zhuzh so i'm gonna take my matchstick from fenty beauty and espresso to contour while i let the concealer dry down a little bit oh and also I'm sure y'all, you know, can tell something's different from the last time y'all see me like 
a couple days ago. Um, I took my braids out and I didn't even have them in that long, but I had to take them things out. Like I was sick of them. I'm gonna use this Sephora brush. This is the number 202. Um, I had to take those things out. Like I did it myself. So it wasn't like I wasted money like getting them done because I did them, but like, oops, oops. <sighs> wow, way to go Tiffany. But yeah, it wasn't like I wasted money because I put them in myself and honestly, I didn't even finish partially because deep down I knew I was not going to keep them in for a long time. Like I just don't, I like to change my hair up and you can't do that when you have braids. So honestly, I wanted braids, but I was like, I don't think I should pay to get them done because honestly, truly, I'm not going to want to keep the braids in. So I'm glad I didn't waste my money like 200 something dollars getting them done like at a shop because that would have been such a waste of money. I spent like $20 on um, braiding hair, which was enough, but like it was okay. I'm, I'll, I'll get over it. I'm actually pretty over it right now because I did them. So it's really not like, hold on, let me fix my wig because whoo girl it's like it's not like i really had to go through too much to like sit and get them done because i was taking breaks periodically anyway but you know that's time that i took for myself that i can't get back that's never good okay let me know how y'all like just having me on here with like my little pictures in the bag because i think i want to bring it back instead of using my backdrops all the time using my you know my little pictures they're not really pictures my little they're not posters either they're like i don't know what they are um uh, my little things that are on the wall i think i want to bring that back and use those more often than just you know slap my backdrop out but y'all let me know what y'all think i gotta get my posture right because since i moved my backdrop and i had like stuff in the background to like look at you know periodically I had to adjust my camera up and move my pictures down like just to get it in a good space where like you can see me and like if I'm like you know leaning over or something like you can see what was behind me um I gotta figure it out because now like if I'm sitting like down in my chair and my chair isn't tall then you can like my chin's cut off so I gotta like get my posture right and like sit up and you know that's a work in progress all right so i'm adding a little bit more just to make sure it's super bright how i like it and i'm gonna blend this out and then is my powder already here i'm going to set with my um laura mercier powder and then yeah i'll be back to bronze and everything Okay, I moved you guys down now. I think this is perfect. All right, we got it. We good. We Gucci. So now I'm going to go ahead and add some blush. I'm going to take this Pro Fusion little blush. What is it called? It's just six shade blush palette. And I'm going to take this shade right here. And I think that... Mm, nope, JK. I'm going to mix these two shades right there for blush today oh yeah that's pretty pretty i'm gonna use my morphe bronzer in showmance to just bronze up my forehead Honestly, like, why is my husband even walking upstairs? Like, get a life, bro. Do I want to bronze up a little bit? <sighs> okay, I'm going to take this. What is this? This e.l.f. blending brush and just dip into that deeper shade and hit right at the hollows of my cheeks. 
Okay. Now, can like buff it out? Oh, uh, me likey, me likey. This is just a powder brush. It's probably nothing on it, but it just makes me feel better about myself when I use it. So that's what I am doing. I'm gonna dust this off my nose now. Hold on, honey. My nose is kind of like, I can't breathe. <laughs> Where? What am I doing? Oh, let me spray my face and I'm gonna take my Too Faced Hangover RX. Okay, I'm gonna use this NYX pencil in satin blue. I don't know where my cobalt blue um, jumbo eye pencil is. Like, I have no idea, but I'm going to use this because I can't find that. Okay, then I'm going to buff out my lower lash line with that same pink on this M507. And then I'm going to take this little, I don't even know what brush this is, what type of brush this is, I mean, but it's what I'm going to use. Let me dust. I used a little bit too much pink right there. Got a little overzealous. It's okay. I'm going to use this brush, like I said, and I'm going to take that blue and I'm going to place that directly, like basically in my waterline, but at my lash line. Okay, then I'm gonna add some lower lash mascara with this Too Faced Better Than Sex. This is what I have on my lashes at the top. Now I got to put on some highlighters. I'm going to take this Fuego highlighter by Dose of Colors X Desi and Katie on my Milani blending. What is what is this even called? This is not called blending brush. Highlighter brush. That's what I'm going to say it's called because I don't know anymore. All right, so I'm gonna spray my face. I'm gonna change into my neon, and then yeah, I'll be right okay. Back. So you guys made it to the end. You know, I don't know why I always tell you guys that as if you couldn't 
put two and two together if I'm back with a uh, full face makeup and a different outfit on. I don't really know why I tell y'all that so much. Either way, doesn't matter. So the more I'm looking at myself and the more I'm looking at my mirror, looking at the viewfinder, I don't feel like this look will be as dramatic as it is without this like big fluffy hair and these eyelashes. Honestly, I'm not mad at it. And I think that's why I love both of them so much. So these eyelashes have probably been in my last two or three videos because I have been loving them. And I will put all the information on these lashes down in the description box as well as this hair because honestly i've been loving this hair too so that is really all i say for this video besides you know give this video a thumbs up if you like it you love it subscribe to my channel if you are not already and you want to join the tiffany's family because we're loving a little bit shady here but we're loving and we're open okay and we're honest with each other we are. And hit the notification bell so that every time I upload a video, you get the notification. You can be here. You can chill with me. You can get to know me a little bit more. Brian is home, so he will be in one of these videos sometime soon. Um, if you made it all the way to the end, leave me one of the little fire emojis because I'm curious as to who watches my whole videos because these things be long. Let's just be real. They're pretty lengthy. So if you did, you're loyal. Leave that little fire emoji because you love me. And that's all I got to tell you guys today. So like I always tell you, I'm your girl Tiffany. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you in my next video.